Hey WCHS, love is in the air on this week's WCTV episode. So stay right there because we'll be right back. Jewel, what are you doing for your boy on Valentine's Day tomorrow? Uh, I don't have any ideas. I think I'm just going to say I forgot all about it. Yeah, I'm sure you won't notice, but if you're looking for some ideas, I heard that the show choir is doing Singing Valentines again this year. Singing Valentines? Um, I don't re I've heard of them, but I don't really know what they are. Well, let's talk to Jet for some more info. What well, should you get your special someone for Valentine's Day? How about a wrinkly t-shirt? How about a tricycle with two wheels? How about a singing valentine? Ding, 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 ding. Singing valentines are a yearly occurrence for Webster City Show Choir. This Friday, for only $10, you can get your honey a complete package of chocolates, flowers, and some sweet tunes. But don't fret if your honey's out of the ta house. They'll go just about anywhere to deliver his sweet surprise. The show choir spent a lot of time making personalized cards, wrapping chocolates, prepping flowers, and rehearsing the song. When it's the big day, they'll pack up into a car and head to their destinations. If you're curious to what you would do if you wanted to send one to someone out of town, Ms. Farley had this to say about it. Instead of the $10 delivery, um, you can pay $5 and we'll send them a singing valentine over the phone. So now do you have a clue? Singing Valentine. If you're looking for a special treat to get your sweetie, Singing Valentine's is the way to go. That's a great idea, Jet. But I don't know. I still feel like I need to get something else for my dearly beloved Caleb. Yeah, Julie, you're right. I never. It's so hard to shop for boys on Valentine's Day. I never know what to get them. Yeah, for all you ladies who still haven't found the perfect gift for your guy, here's Tyler with some helpful tips. Hey WCHS, I'm Tyler Patton. When it comes to Valentine's Day, you usually think about what guys are going to do for girls. But today, we're going to focus on what girls can do for guys. So girls, what are you doing for your guy? I'm getting him plane tickets to England. I'm going to make him cupcakes for Valentine's Day. That sounds pretty good, but I think the guys could come up with something better. So guys, what do you want your girl to do for you on Valentine's Day? I really want her to dress really nice. Bouquet of suckers. Bake me a cake with extra sugar. Hopefully a pony named Karen. I'm Tyler Patton reporting for WCTV, and you better figure out what you're going to do for your guy. Thanks, Tyler. Hey, Jewel, did I tell you about the guy that I met at the mall last week? No, you have to tell me all the details. Well, he is the cheesiest pickup line. Yeah, pickup lines can either make you look super smooth or super lame. Here's Brie with some other, some one-liners that just might land you a date. Pickup lines. What are they? Did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from heaven. And why do you guys think they have to use them to pick up? Hey, Brie, are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 that I see. A date. Pickup lines have been around for centuries, but believe it or not, they are still used today. But what are some of the popular ones today? Good thing I brought my library card because I've been checking you out. Hey, are those wings on your back? No. Because dang, girl, you fly. Baby, I'm going to tell you straight up, you're a tall glass of water, and I'm thirsty. The guy needs to do is he needs to go up to a girl, ask her what time it is, and then she'll look at her watch. He says, hey, thanks a lot when she gives me the time. Then he says, hey, speaking of watches, that's a nice watch. And the girl will probably say something to the effect of, hey, thanks. You say, hey, you're welcome, but speaking of watches, I've been watching you all night long, and you're good looking. 
pickup lines could be insulting or annoying. So why do people even use them? Because girls find them attractive. <laughs> Who needs a pickup line when you got a face like this? Why not? When they think they're funny. And they're definitely not. <laughs> See, if you want to use pickup line, you have to be smart about it. Hey, Bree. Want to see some fireworks? I'm Brianna Carlberg reporting for WCTV, and maybe you'll see fireworks in your future. Uh, Emily, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just thinking about this really cute guy I've been thinking about asking out, and I think I'm going to use a really good pickup line to help seal the deal. Oh, well, good luck with that, but now it's time to wrap up our Valentine's edition of WCTV. Good luck to all the wrestlers at districts tomorrow. Hey, love me maybe a battlefield, but love is what makes the ride worthwhile. Are we so excited? Three hours later.